What's up guys, good morning and welcome your faces back to a brand new day and a brand new video. We're back in the UK right now. The first time I think I've started a vlog in my uh, in my house for two and a half, three weeks. Back with the doggos. What are you saying? Hey, <laughs> there we go. You all right? And I'm gonna jump straight into things today, guys. Uh, I said in my video yesterday that I had some plans uh, coming up in, in the near future, and I gave a little bit of a hint and a little bit of a teaser that this, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go to France to ride my bike. So what is actually happening, guys, in a few days time, me and, and one of my friends, Brian, who uh, you'll know from the videos in the past, we are actually gonna take a one-way ticket to somewhere in the south of France and we're just gonna we're gonna ride home basically in a nutshell we're gonna pack our bikes into a cardboard box we're gonna fly somewhere we're gonna ditch the cardboard boxes and we're gonna ride home simple as that the plan is to do about a thousand uh, kilometers in total now what makes this trip interesting is we've literally got uh, like six and a half days to do this I'm gonna be back here back home for a team commitment I'm taking part in the Marriott Mash Sportif down in Somerset so I've got to be back here to do that on the 13th so uh, we're up against it with the time schedule theoretically like it should be okay we should be able to do it but if anything goes wrong we're basically screwed what what are you moaning at me for? So obviously guys, as I only got back from a trip yesterday and uh, as this kind of this plan only came about last night, uh, I've got absolutely zero plans and zero things organized and zero things ready. So it's gonna be a pretty hectic uh, four days trying to pack and sort everything to go on my first ever bike packing trip. Okay, so my bike's still in its box, so I'm just gonna take my dad's bike for argument's sake. I've got some panniers for the back, they're on the way, uh, a company's sending me some, I will talk more about that when they arrive, I think tomorrow or the day after. But what I also need is like a frame bag. I don't wanna get one of the full frame bags, so I don't think I need it, uh, just with the stuff that I'm taking. But I do want some sort of frame bag to attach to the top tube of my bike, and uh, potentially, potentially a handlebar bag. I intend to try and keep things minimal for this trip, but guys i'm gonna be taking my camera uh, my, my laptop and, and all of the equipment that comes along with that so i do need some sufficient space and some sufficient storage uh for yeah for all of that equipment so with that further ado let's go to the bike shop let's go and purchase some bags all right Got myself a bike bag, a frame bag even, not a bike bag. I got myself a Woho. I think I think it's pronounced Woho. So it's a waterproof bag, but it doesn't have completely waterproof uh, zippers on it. However, it does have these flaps, so it is pretty uh, water resistant. It's not like the most expensive bag in the world because you know this is my first trip. I might do uh, one bike packing trip and I might hate it, and I'll never and I'll never do it again. So I don't want to like go out and spend hundreds of pounds on like the most expensive watertight durable bags so i think for the first trip this will work uh, this will do so first mission of the bike packing trip completed all right so first things first i built the bike up since i've been in italy it's just been in a bike box for over a week but built it up it's all looking sweet put the bike bag on that i bought uh, just just now just to test it out a little bit and i'm gonna just take it for a spin down the road and back to see kind of how it feels and like to just see how it feels and all of that good stuff. I decided not to, for now, get a, uh, a handlebar bag. I was reading like reviews and stuff on the internet and, and apparently handlebar bags, you know, mess up the, the handling of the bike a little bit. And I don't really want that. So obviously I, obviously I haven't got all my bags yet. I've still got my pannier rack to go on the back. And when that arrives, I'll do a full setup video of everything I'm taking. Um, but what I'm gonna do guys is try and get all of my stuff in without the need of a handlebar bag. I mean, if I need one, I'll, I'll buy one, but hopefully, uh, I'm gonna get away without using one. And honestly, this feels all right. I can't feel the bag hitting my knees. Feels pretty good. I'm also not 100% sure if I'm gonna be taking the Colnago just yet. I might take a winter bike um, just so I can kind of throw it around a little bit more and not worry as much about keeping it in like, you know, pristine condition. But so far, I haven't yet decided what I'm actually gonna take, but I mean, initial thoughts of this bag are pretty good. And it's just kind of hit me that this is actually real now and I'm gonna be riding this bike 1,000 kilometers next week. Oh shit. 
Also, another option, guys, is to get a, uh, a top tube bag, like one of the ones that, that goes on here, that I can put my phone and some food in and stuff. But again, ideally, ideally, I just want to keep the front end completely clear. I want to have this bag here, and I want to have panniers on the back, and like that's, that's all I want. All right, I figured I'd head out on the bike, do a little bit of a ride for a couple of reasons. First off, I want to be able to take my big camera on this trip with me, but I don't want to be wearing it on my back. So I'm trying to find a solution where I can put the put the camera into the bike bag. So this is kind of a little bit of a test ride, but also another reason is to just uh, wait the legs up a little bit after after a week of being on holiday and a week of no exercise. Otherwise, I'm going to go to France next week and be absolutely cooked every single day. And I don't want that to be the case. So I waited a while for the sun to come out and it's warm up a little bit. And I'm just going to tap her along for about 90 minutes to two hours. That's the great thing about the off season. There's no plan, no schedule. I'll just ride for as long as I want to. Gotta say, so far, initial impressions of this bag are pretty good. I can barely see it from an overhead view. And okay, I know there's nothing in it right now, but I can't kind of feel any obvious difference to the bike, you know? I don't really, I can't tell that I've got a bag on it. No doubt that thought's gonna change when I fill it up with clothes and battery charges and laptop charges and the like. Uh, excuse me, what has happened to the weather since I've been away? Other than a pair of gloves, I'm pretty much in full winter kit right now. It's that time of the year where it's like sunny, blue skies, kind of nice weather, but it's bloody cold. I think right now it's about 10 degrees. And uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think this is it for the winter now. It's all downhill from here. I'm gonna make the most of this weather. I sometimes find that October provides the best weather. You know, it might not be the warmest, but it's often the driest. But anyway, we're coming up to 40, 40 minutes. Feeling good, happy to be back out on the bike in the roads enjoying Lancashire. All right guys, it looks like when I was away, it's uh, it's rained quite a lot. This literally looks like a lake, as does that, but I can confirm neither of those are lakes. They're both fields with normally, normally full of cows, but um, genuinely it looks like it should be a lake here. It's not a lake, it's a field. We've got an issue. I got myself stuck behind a slurry tanker. Gonna give myself plenty of room. I don't want going all over me. That's it, off you go, buddy. Off you go, leave me alone. It's one of the issues of where I live. There's lots of farms and there's lots of fields. And that means lots of cow poop. Pretty sure when I set off, I said I was gonna do like 90 minutes, two hours. Ended up just doing literally an hour. I forgot that I had to get home to edit my vlog. But anyway, the main thing is we got out on the bike. We tested out the bag a little bit. And so far, guys, I've got absolutely no bad things to say. It seems absolutely perfect. This thing's like 40 quid. If you're looking for a cheap frame bag, definitely check out these guys. Whoa ho. Obviously, I paid full price for it this morning. It's not an ad or anything. It's not sponsored. And my opinions might change next week when I actually fill it with stuff and we go touring somewhere. But so far, anyway, so good. What do you think? Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> Just trying to make myself a coffee, uh, trying being the key word here, just turn it off. This is mm, supposed to be a flat white. Great latte art there, Cameron. I would go as far as saying the latte art is non-existent right there. The only issue is, with all this rain the UK's had, it feels like a bloody bog. I think it would be more practical to wear boots rather than trainers. Nice one, Cam. We have stumbled upon a hurdle. Yep. I think I think I just jump it. I think I just bloody send it. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling for a live reaction if I just completely face plant into the mud. <laughs> Did it. Okay guys, so it's starting to go, uh, it's starting to go dark outside right now. I've just spent a couple of hours like thinking and kind of piecing together kind of all the things that I think I'm gonna need uh, to take with me on my bike tour to France. I'm just kind of sort of trying to strategically plan it so I just take the bare minimum, but everything I need. For example, ideally I'll just take one pair of shorts and one t-shirt. Then I think it's probably wise that I take a jumper, but then jumpers take up a lot of room. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I can take and uh, how much stuff I can fit in 
my bags, which I won't know until they arrive in the next day or two. But I'm just trying to be organized. I'm just, I'm just trying to have everything set out. I've got some clothes here, some kit, uh, like some camera equipment, my computer, my kind of work stuff is here. If any of you guys in, in the, watching this video right now, uh, goes bike touring or goes bike packing on a regular basis. Let me know in the comment section. Is there any any like random kind of miscellaneous <laughs> items that I might have forgotten that you kind of don't really think about but come in handy on a bike tour? Please do let me know in the comments below. I'm a complete noob, as you know. At this, I've never done this point to point riding or bike bike packing or bike touring before in my life, as you guys know that. So yeah, if there's anything that you think I will uh, have have kind of not thought about. Please do let me know in the comments below. I'm obviously going to be doing like a full setup video uh, once I've packed my, my bags and stuff. I've got some exciting news coming in the next couple of days regarding like my bike and stuff. But yeah, for now, any help and any advice would be greatly appreciated.